Okay, let's get started. Ghosts are real. That much I know. Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is the first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every single time that I post a video and I post every single week. So you can see from the title, today's video is going to be my full review with spoilers of Renfield. This is the latest Dracula film. This is protagonized by Nicolas Cage and Nicolas Holt as Dracula and his servant Renfield. Now, as always, all my reviews are with spoilers. If you don't want them just to see if this was worth it or not on the description box down below, there you're going to find my spoiler free review because I like to give you guys the two options. So saying all of that, let's get into the video. Renfield follows Dracula's henchman and inmate at the lunatic asylum for decades, long for a life away from the Count, his various demands and all of the bloodshed that comes with them. Now, this film is just one hour and 30 minutes and let me tell you that it felt that it was way less. This film is actually pretty fast paced but not in a way that you feel that they are rushing the story and that they're missing things but it's very fast paced something that I appreciate from time to time but I did have a very good time with this film. To give a brief summary, the film opens with the scene that we saw in the trailer when he is in a support group for people with codependency and Renfield is explaining us in a flashback the story of how he met Dracula. Of course, if you have seen previous projects based on the book by Bram Stoker or you have ever read the novel, it's pretty easy, of course, to know how everything happened and you kind of know the backstory. I really like it that these flashbacks, they gave some reference and kind of easter eggs to the original Dracula. Dracula's films from the Universal Classic Monsters universe, something that I truly appreciate. So it was very cool. It was also all black and white and evil, even some shots that kind of resemble the original film with Bela Lugosi. Amazing. Nicolas Cage as Dracula was amazing. Basically, the film is Renfield trying to get away from Dracula because he is done with being his familiar or his servant. He gets his powers by eating bugs. It, they are right now in New Orleans in the present because Dracula, essentially what he has been doing all these years is a killing spree and he gets caught by everyone. And of course, he needs to go into hiding. So by the time that we are now, he is basically in shambles. Like he is unrecognizable. The makeup was very good. Like he looked destroyed. And Renfield is trying his best into bring him to Dracula something to eat. But of course, it's not enough. He wants nuns. He wants, he literally says, a bus full of cheerleaders, a happy couple. Like he wants pure souls because apparently the blood is better. Renfield gets in the middle of a police investigation and persecution with the mafia family, the Lobos in New Orleans. And that's how he met Rebecca that is portrayed by Aquafina. She is a police agent and her father was killed by this mafia family. So of course she wants revenge. This is how they met. We have that scene also on the trailer that is on a restaurant where Renfield gets his powers like out basically to the world and he has a big fight. The action and fighting sequence, they were very good. Um, the film is very campy, so you can expect many campy stuff, especially into the action sequences, but I think that it fit the film perfectly. Now, she is impressed but also confused, but they decide to team up because Dracula is teaming up with the Mafia family. Because once he realizes that Renfield wants to get out of his life and he wants a normal life, he team ups with the mafia in order to dominate the world because he's like, you know what? I am a god. I want to rule the whole world. And of course, Renfield doesn't want that. So the film basically ends with them defeating Dracula. They completely kill him. They basically put his body into cement and they drop it to some sewers and the body is nowhere to be found. Like they literally destroyed the body. And he, at some point, Dracula eats the whole support group of Renfield and they brought them back to life with Dracula's blood because he had the power in his blood to bring people back to life. So this is how they got them all back together. They are a little bit traumatized because they died and now they're back. But the film has a happy ending and that's basically it. 
Now, going very quickly through the things, I like it. I get the pacing. I think that it's a very simple story. You don't need to go that far. You don't need to stretch it. Like, you get the work done. And I think that they did that perfectly because they didn't left like things behind or details forgotten. They didn't also put some filler scenes in the middle, like to make it longer. Like they went straight to the point and very easy to understand. Like seriously, the film is not that complicated. Secondly, Nicholas Holt and Nicholas Cage. They were amazing. Nicholas Cage in horror. I could have never imagined that this actor who I have been seeing ever since I'm a child into horror. Like I was surprised the first time that I saw a film of him in the horror genre. And he is amazing. So he did a very good job as Dracula. And Nicholas Holt at Renfield, I think that he did a pretty good job too. It reminds me a little bit of, the. this is actually the first time that I saw him on a film, is on Warm Bodies where he did a zombie and I think that he did a pretty good job there. And I really like that this one, just for some moments, it kind of resembles the character, but in a good way. Aquafina did a very good job. I love her. I really like it that she was more than just a comedy relief. I mean, the film definitely is a comedy horror, but mostly the times that I have seen her, she is the comedy relief. For example, on Shang-Chi, that is a Marvel film. She is one of the biggest comedy reliefs of the whole film. She's amazing in there. But here she's more than that. And that's something that I love. Like she's a very good actress, if you ask me. Like she is very good in what she's doing. So I think that the cast was perfectly matched. Now, when it comes to the gore, I think that they did it pretty good. Although it definitely has some CGI. But I'm not going to blame them. I know it would have been way, way harder to do what they did did and present on the film with practical effects alone so no judgment in that like a section sequence and fight i think that they were very good it remind me a little bit of scooby-doo like the first one um there's a scene where daphne is fighting with a wrestler and also like charlie angels that type of campiness and ridiculousness when it comes to the fight scenes but here it fits the story. So it's not like out of it or it's like, mm, what the hell is happening? Like It fits what the film is trying to portray. So I think that they did a pretty good job. Being honest, I had such a good time. If I were being honest, if I were to say something negative or maybe that I dislike it, I don't know. I have no complaints, being honest. Like I'm not saying that the film is excellent, but by any means... It's not bad. Like, honestly, I had such a good time. The film is very easy. You don't need to think that much. Like I said, it's very simple, straight to the point. No metaphors, nothing too complicated. Like, it's just a movie to have fun and a good time. And that's good. Like, we, we don't need a two hours and a half horror movie about trauma and symbolisms and metaphors and things so over complicated. But that by the time that you end, you're like, what i need so many answers and you need to rewatch the film like no here's straight to the point also i really like the fact that they include uh, my chemical romance song in the soundtrack that's one of my favorite bands so i really like that detail so like i said for me the film is not excellent maybe probably the only thing i would ever complain it would be the cgi but like i said i'm not going to blame them by doing that because there was no way that they could have done all that gore and how the scenes play and how ridiculous it is some of the killing scenes without it but that would be the only thing but i will say that this film is a four out of five or a nine out of ten i had such a good time the film it is what it is like i said for me this film is not like elevated horror because every single film has to be like that we deserve also fun ridiculous horror movies and in this case it's a comedy horror like you can't expect this film to be some serious dracula film because it's not <laughs> Although Universal is bringing us one because today actually it came out the trailer of The Last Voyager of the Demeter. That that is the first video that I uploaded today. I did the trailer reaction, leaving it right here. But like I said, for me, this is 4 out of 5, 9 out of 10, and I must watch. So if you like Dracula or you like Nicolas Cage or Nicolas Holt, go and watch it and don't miss it because definitely you're going to have a good time. But well, I think that this has been all for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what do you thought about it. Do you like it? You didn't. Like I said, I had the time of my life. Like, I really liked the film. But thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to see you guys on my next video.
Ooh, bye. That much I know.